Hope everyone's doing well. Just want to add this quick message. Today marks year one year anniversary of Sterling Stocks covering Meta Materials. So been a pretty wacky ride, fun at times, sad at times. Uh hopefully year two is even better. About three hundred and forty five videos between Torch and Meta Merger, uh live streams and meta coverage. So appreciate all the support. Uh without you guys the YouTube channel would obviously be nothing. So hopefully year two is even more rock and roll time. So uh and freaking bangarangos baby. So appreciate you guys per usual. Uh enjoy this video and all the rest to come in year two. Welcome back, two green days in a row. George sent out a tweet the other day, so I take back all I said. Nah, I'm just kidding. Still looking at the team from a critical eye. Uh, main message you should take from that video that I still believe in the long-term potential of meta materials. Otherwise, I'd sell out and go about my business. Uh, and then just want to really see them hit any and all deadlines here in 2022. So uh, I still believe in the team. Hopefully, they can get things done. We will see. It looks like we're getting some sort of presentation uh, here on MMTLP soon. Don't know when yet. Uh, should be pretty exciting. We'll, we will talk about that more in just a sec. But uh, obviously, still love to see us in the green overall market not looking great here so love to see us holding up well uh, as I said don't don't expect us to fall to the deep dark debts just expect it a little bit more stagnant but uh, always could get some surprise news two things that I didn't touch on that I wish I would have uh, in that video a couple days ago would be MMTLP Kenrest kind of confirmed that they the Divi rights do travel with those shares as we've been preaching since they hit the market so uh, hopefully we can end that speculation of synthetic shares uh, in my opinion that would be best another thing that he talks about is that all this speculation kind of hurts current or possible future deals when it does get to those type of industry leaders uh so just keep that in mind i think retail could do a better job of doing pretty much uh a little bit less speculation that goes for mmat and mmtlp because mmtlp is pretty much all speculation uh i i know it's it's hard because there's a lot of questions and marks around both those things but uh w when we get the news that will be best i'm sure the team has plenty of it and it would just come all all uh, all in good time due to due time been been a minute since we had some uh, bangerango news, but I think speculation would be the would be the best way to go about it. I mean, we already have our tickets that's going to reward us when we do see that type of new partnership or something like that that we're all excited about. Uh, so th there's no real reason to be out there speculating all that stuff. So uh, I know I've had my fair share of speculatory stuff, uh, but I kind of stopped basically since the way Ray days was my last big one. So I think I think just wait for news, and, and now that would be pretty much uh, the best way to go about it. Of course, watching the team's uh, tweets as well pretty closely to make sure uh they're not really feeding into that necessarily fire essentially so uh i think they've been doing a pretty good job here so far to start out the year uh we will see what what comes to fruition of course as we said it looks like they're coming out with the presentation uh oh overall shouldn't be worried about your long-term potential we just want to see them hit some freaking deadlines baby so uh long and strong is always the way overall market pretty uncertain right now with ukraine russia tensions of course rock oil should get to rock and roll here mmtlp baby uh but uh as far as that goes hopefully that gets all figured out and not looking like it's going to be a short-term thing going to be a big problem for some sort of time now uh a lot of apps went down possible cyber tech cyber tech here on in in the u.s Say. so just keep that in mind uh could be some wonks i expect these two next two weeks to be pretty wonks out there because uh cpi data coming out on thursday inflation data we want that to point to the downside if it comes out hot uh then coming up on the 15th and 16th the fed meeting when the first interest rate hike is coming uh, more likely to be a 50 basis point move instead of the sorry uh 25 that everyone's kind of expecting now so cpi data if it comes out super hot everyone's not gonna love that of course uh if it comes out cold it will bring more more assurance that there will probably only be a 25 basis point move uh, a lot of people believe since the overseas tensions there's pretty much guaranteed the hawks not or the, the hawks uh the fed's not going to be very hawkish and aggressive and just do a 25 basis point move so that there is that factor uh, and that'd be overall good for the market so we'll see uh but i expect expect some short-term walks to hear here to come with that cpi data coming up here on thursday so uh if it comes out super hot the fears are definitely going to rise up again and we'll just see what shakes out on the 15th and 16th uh but overall meta material is holding up well here as you can see and hopefully we can continue on this green streak baby uh but since uh this is george's tweet from the the fifth since they did not have have time time on their earnings call to go into details they are preparing a dedicated presentation event whereas many prefer 
preferred a holder questions will be answered he per personally fully understands everyone's frustrations they are executing a plan thank you for your patience so as you see here looks like we're getting a presentation i know i just talked about speculation i think since it's a presentation probably won't get paid out here uh hopefully they get this done by the end of march i would expect since george sent out this tweet i would expect uh look for this sometime in march probably will be live for this as i said i'm going to speculate too much uh but since it's a presentation probably would we'll just get a little more understanding of kind of the workings that they're going on uh, and might see another it's an effective delay but hopefully if if it'll be all we get her paid out by the end of the march that would be most ideal i know for everyone uh but we will see when this presentation is up of course we'll probably be live forward expecting some pretty new news uh or at least some some better understanding of what's going on with that divvy situation so uh stay tuned for that we will see what all comes to fruition of course everyone's excited about uh that update i'm sure one thing that we did touch on is we want to see more uh in insider buys we do have two here with uh ann lambert and thomas welch uh they're the two largest holders of meta materials so love to see that ninety thousand here and the, they're the, this disposed of if you see this f this code f is for payment of exercise price or tax liability so just keep that in mind uh didn't want to sell these shares but they did it for that old tax man so love to see that very bullish here from the insiders uh and then as well from eric who acquired 74,000 uh, and then once again disposed of 13,000 but once again has the code F so love to see that uh, perfectly okay with taking care of the, the tax things and then just going ahead and purchasing way more so uh, insider buying is bullish that's one of the key points we said we wanted to see in 2022 and already getting getting to see it here <laughs> uh in the first couple weeks of march so hopefully that continues on uh and of course love to see the, the the biggest insiders of them all continuing to to grow their stack so uh firm believers in meta materials as like myself who is all in uh it's just going to be a little bit more critical i don't want anyone to take my message the wrong way and be like meta materials are freaking fraud i don't think they're a fraud i think uh we kind of just need to to tighten up but button up as i said sh shipping up shape and make sure we try to hit any and all deadlines so uh even if this this mmtlp presentation doesn't come to necessarily to a payout uh, i won't be necessary to met as long as we, as we get some sort of new new information and a little bit more understanding of kind of what to expect uh when they're ready to announce that or as much as they can give i know their hands are kind of tied up right now but uh we will see and of course uh as i said we will be live for that bad boy and i'll update you guys uh whenever george and the team kind of send out that presentation so uh they will be having two presentations here coming up in the first part of march uh right here on the 9th and then the 13th and 15th at those two conferences there uh, i am signed up for the investor summer conference one tomorrow at 2 45 eastern time p.m uh, i suggest you guys sign up if you're interested i may post your in full to the channel i won't be doing any more highlights or things like that uh kind of help cut out the speculation and you should watch these investor presentations and not pick apart everything georgia and the team have to say uh just kind of watch them with news and be like all right awesome glad i own this freaking stock it's gonna be freaking rock and roll awesome so uh uh, of course, as I always say, never expecting anything new out of these presentations. Just watch them because you want to possibly learn something new about the company that you miss uh, or just hear them spreading that gospel to potential new investors. So uh, as I said, I might post it to the channel. Let me know in the comments if you want me to push to the channel. Uh, but we will just have to see. I do highly suggest you guys go sign up for yourselves in case I do not post yours. So uh, I'll keep you all updated on that. We'll probably be making a video here pretty steadily throughout the week, I'd, ima I'd imagine. Uh, overall, long-term potential of meta materials is still there of course uh shouldn't get swayed out by your day to days per usual just want to be uh hopefully buttoned up hit all any and all deadlines uh and yeah i mean that's pretty much it for it. market should be pretty uncertain here these next two next couple of weeks uh really glad to see us have two solid green days uh we will see have to have to see if we can continue that and hopefully the market can kind of shake off these short-term walks here in the next couple of weeks and we have uh not just a terrible kind of duddish sideways 2022 so uh hopefully that that we get some sort of rally and i think meta materials will be a part of that uh just might take a little bit longer to see your 10s 20s and beyond here in 2022 gonna gonna have to see, see some more more proof in the pudding uh but i think the team's working on it and we'll see it i just don't know when that when we will get to see it so uh still believers still will be here spreading that good word i appreciate you guys and i will see you guys uh probably here sometime later in the week